So today is Canadian Independent Bookstore Day, and Jane and I wandered downtown and we went to the bookmark and we were looking around and it was kind of fun to be there. It was, people were dressed up in some costumes and uh, I was talking to a pen friend from my pe the, the pen club I'm a member of and you know she showed me a really cool fountain pen she has with an architect grind nib. And so I picked up some inks. Um, one thing I got was this ink charger set from Ferris Wheel Press. And I don't have any Ferris wheel press inks, so I thought it'd be kind of nice to try a few sample sets. They're five milli milliliter uh, little vials. Um, and uh, the other, I also picked up, an, we also picked up another larger bottle of Ferris wheel press ink, but I can't use that until my birthday. Birth, it's a birthday present, so I have to hold on until I get older. Um, anyway, so uh, I accidentally ripped this as I was opening it up earlier. Uh, so that's kind of sad. But the great thing about Ferris Wheel Press is their packaging design. They have, you know, kind of a antique feel to it or a steampunk style or the feeling of a circus design, you know, Ferris Wheel. Um, and they have really nice packaging. Apparently they have a couple illustrators on, on, on in their uh, company who do all their design work and everything you see. So... Uh, so I'm just going to open these up, and what you get are three really nice little bottles of the inks. And on the back here it tells you what you get. This one comes with uh, Pumpkin Patch, Jelly Bean, Blue, and Tanzanite Sky. And actually, the, I really wanted it because of the Tanzanite, because I have a, uh, a Tanzanite from uh, Private Reserve, and that's one of my favorite blues, actually. And it, that bottle is almost empty, so I probably should pick up another one. But I just wanted to try the Ferris wheel press inks. And so I got this because of the Tanzanite Blue, just to see how it went. Uh, it tells you on the bottom of the little vials what the, the colors are. So that's the, the Tanzanite Sky right there. And that's Pumpkin Patch. And this is the Jelly Bean Blue. And so what I'm going to do is just do a little ink swatch. And what, I don't have these in pens yet. And when I do, I'll just write the name down in the pen. But I'll just use a pencil for now. So the first one I'm going to try is the uh, pumpkin patch to see what it looks like. It's a very, you know, clear vial. Very nice. Just a little dab of it. I'm just going to put it down. Oh, that's, and, and, that, and that, my first impression is quite positive, actually. That's quite a nice uh, color. I was expecting it to be a bit darker, but... It's, it's very nice, very subtle. Um, if you look, first thing I noticed is there's just a little bit of crustacean around the lip of the bottle. And that quite often happens with red inks. And that's not going to harm anything. You, you just wipe those off your fountain pen if they build up around the nib. It might slow down ink flows, but you can wash that off and they'll be fine. And that's quite a nice color. You know, that's uh, the pumpkin patch. So I'm just going to write it down. And when I ink it up, I'll, I'll, I'll take care of that. And though I like, though I like uh, red and orange and sort of sepia tone inks and things like that, that actually might be a little light for my taste, but maybe someday I'll put it in something. Uh, I'm going to leave the Tanzanite for last because that was the one I wanted. And this is the Jelly Bean Blue. And we're going to just see how that looks. Undo that. It's a rather pretty blue when I see it around the bottle there. I'm just going to get a little bit. Now that I like a lot, actually. That That's, yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the jelly bean. Um, though I go on about uh, how much I like orange and burgundies and reds, I also am very fond of blues. One color I don't, like of course is gray. I've never came never never came across a gray that I care for really. And that's the jelly bean blue. <laughs> yeah, so that's quite nice. And this is the tanzanite. This is the one I was quite interested in. I'm assuming that's the Tanzanite. 
No, that's not. That's the jelly bean glue again. <laughs> I'm gonna put that back. Yeah, this is the this is the tanzanite. It says on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> One thing I learned, oh, I like that. Hmm, very nice. <laughs> I like that a lot. One thing I learned about the uh, Ferris wheel press is that their office, they have an antique printing press. And on it, there is a brass bolt, or brass bolts, I should say. And from those, they've taken inspiration. And when you look at the packaging on their larger bottles and on, say, the uh, Ferris wheel press uh, brush fountain pen especially on the fountain pen you'll see there's a nut on the cap and it's to stop the pen from rolling and but it's inspired by this old press that's where the brass bolt came from i learned that actually just recently from a zoom call uh we um our our, our, our um uh, fountain pen club was lucky enough to have a zoom call with one of the uh employees of Ferris Wheel Press and they just gave us uh, she gave us a little bit of history about the company and, uh, showed us some products and some upcoming products and gave us you know just just told us about the company and it was really nice to talk to her uh, and um, you know fountain pen people they're they're always passionate about fountain pens and ink and it was great to talk to her Anyway, I hope you like this video. Um, <laughs> so as you see, there's three colors. If I was to get any of these, I'd probably get the Jelly Bean Blue or the Tanzanite Sky. So anyway, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, I'd love it if you subscribe. And I'll probably ink up the pen, a, pen, a, a pen in one of these colors. And I uh, will do a video about that. So anyway, I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.